house of a speaker to you. At the young age of 19, she was Tony Robbins' top salesperson and remained at that position for about seven years until she went off and created her own sales training programs and seminars. She's helped numerous Fortune 500 companies achieve their sales and financial goals. In fact, she helped a local company here in Newport Beach become the top fleet dealership in the nation. In fact, a lot of locals, you may have even purchased a vehicle from them, Fletcher Jones, Mercedes-Benz of Newport Beach. And recently, she's reunited with Tony, where she's actually speaking alongside him and not for him. So please help me welcome to the stage my mentor, the beautiful Nurka. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I am honored to be here. I'm thrilled to be here. I am a fan of your life's work. I'm an advocate. I've been practicing chiropractic for over 20 years. And I say practicing because for me, it's part of my wellness practice. It's like yoga. Yes. And I became introduced to chiropractic 23 years ago with this man right here. How many of you know Tony introduced me, he's an advocate, and he introduced me to chiropractic when I was 23 years old. He also introduced me to colonics that day, but I'm not gonna get into that. <laughs> and I traveled with Tony for five years from 1995 to 2000, and I broke all the records in his company, became a legend in that industry, and then started my company in the year 2000. And I launched it with this vision of inspiring social transformation, global transformation through inner evolution. So I believe at the core that our mission is one and the same. This isn't about just healing pain and solving symptoms, although that's gonna happen. This is about creating the conditions that bring that body temple, the body into a space of equipoise and equilibrium, which is a prerequisite to allow the highest inspiration, highest illumination, creative powers to pour forth. That's how important you are. That's how essential this is. And then to have that pour forth to families and children's and every single person's creations and the value they bring into the world. So what obstructs that? What obstructs, because you all are about guiding people to embody their infinite potential, as am I. Is that true, yes? So what creates the obstruction of someone embodying their infinite potential? There's a term in Sanskrit, and it's called the kleshas. And what this term means is it's the obstacles that cloud the mind. They are obstacles to enlightenment, obstacles to liberation, and obstacles to living in your power. And what these are, and I'll summarize them because of the time we have, is ignorance, anger, and greed. This is the root cause of the suffering that's happening in the world, and it's the root cause of the individual suffering that's happening in anyone that comes into your practice. Anger and greed, though, are subsets of the initial kleisha, which is ignorance. In other words, the reason why anger and greed show up is because of fundamental ignorance. A fundamental ignorance of what? Fundamental ignorance of the nature of the self a fundamental ignorance of the nature of reality. And this fundamental ignorance, when there's a false premise, and I'm gonna get into this, but I'll give you a little pre-teaching on it, is that the subconscious mind works on the process of deductive reasoning. So if the initial premise is false, the subconscious mind is gonna begin to deduce all the examples based on that initial premise. So one premise that's false is the idea that you're separate from me. Because when we really look at the core, the same life force beating your heart is beating mine. The same life force breathing you is breathing me. And this was one of the most massive breakthroughs that happened when the astronauts first reached the moon. Because before they got there, it was a war. It was a race. It was us against you. But something magical, it was like a miracle happened the moment they landed on the moon and they saw things from a different perceptual position. And all of a sudden, they saw the earth 
this beautiful blue dot spinning through infinite space, and you know what they got? We are one people. That happened as a, as a natural manifestation because there was an awakening. There was a moment of illumination. There was a moment of satori, instant awakening, and perception change in the presence of the light. So if you walk into a dark room and you want there to be light, what do you do? You don't fight the darkness. How many of you have certain things that you've been showing up that it feels like a fight? How many of you have had that? It feels like a struggle. How many of you love to transcend the fight right here and right now today and come into such a place where you transcend the polarity and you're able to communicate from a place that flips on the switch in the presence of the darkness and creates that awakening? Who's excited about this conversation? So today, I'm going to share with you a few things that I'm going to give you as much as I possibly can in the short time. First, how essential it is for you to attune yourself to a high vibe in your practice. 